Hello, it is the Kiwi Kink, and I am here playing Echo. Now, this is a new game that was released today by Ultra Ultra, which is a small independent um, dev team comprised of former devs from IO Interactive, who made the wonderful Hitman game. Um, so, I'm just going to dive in and have a look here. Now, this is sort of a prey scenario. I don't know if this will be a full series um, or if I will just play for a little bit to give basically a good look at what the game has to offer and then just finish it in my own time. But I figured, you know, might as well record my initial impressions and see how things go. So we are going to dive in to a new game. And we'll see how things go. All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger. Probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it? How about... You screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders. Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. Okay, that is a rather intriguing start to the game. Uh, I wonder how much of this is going to impact. Yeah. Not sure what load times are going to be like, especially on my computer, since it's a rather mid-range machine. Um, I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Interesting. Okay. So we have movement. Yes, we get to explore a little bit as we learn the systems. Yeah. Nice looking game so far. Uh, yeah. Early days. Ugh. Blood stain on your clothing. That's always useful.
wonder what we have around here. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, then. That'll work, too. Okay, so I think that light is directing us where to go, which is kind of interesting way of doing it. Okay. Impressive. Most impressive. Yeah. And let us take the box. Those credits were an interesting way of doing it. I need a suit. And there we have our title. And we're off. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues, no gravitational pull, nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. Interesting design of the ship. Oops. Okay. So 
so so far we're going heavy on atmosphere which is understandable you should get off the surface too what a strange place that's impressive really yeah I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. Okay. Oh, interact. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. Interesting. We have patterns and cool. There's another one. Look, there's an opening down there. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. Okay. And... The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Hmm. Okay, tab. So we've got cell meters, which is a triangle, cell cost, any action. Okay, so it's a it's a resource. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out which way to go. Uh, that looks... Cool. Can we jump that? No. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Falling apart. It all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. Cool. Ooh. Okay, and crouch. So, looks like there's a bit of navigation here, just to try and figure things out. Can we go this way? Yep. Oh, this planet feels cold, I will admit. And here we this go. This was made for humans. 
not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. You should appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. He wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Hmm. Cool. And... There we go. Sweet. Oh. Whoops. Ooh. Slippery. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. What exactly are these structures then? Have you seen others like them since you're such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got a feeling we're talking together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. So far, it's quite easy to navigate. Um, just trying to figure out where to go, as we do have options, but yeah, at the moment, it's just trying to read the terrain and see which is the best direction to go in. Um, Ooh. Ah, this is looking promising. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah. Now, the game is fairly atmospheric at the moment. God, we haven't even gotten to the central conceit. But, if um, yeah. Knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could too, that you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did you then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. Hmm. Okay, not this way. Some nice little world building in the dialogue. Just giving you a sense of what sort of place this is. What the people were like. Be interesting to see how this proceeds once we get to the game proper. Uh... Also, the visuals are really, really atmospheric. Um, gives you a really good sense of place. I am literally feeling cold right now. Um, so, uh, and. 
Whee. There must be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you. But he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Okay. <sighs> so, yeah. Finally, something. Something indeed. Let's have a look. And pull. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Okay. I'm right. Uh, it does cost a cell. Okay. And. Wow. I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Oh. Okay, looks like we are trapped. Uh, but we are getting closer to our destination. Whatever that destination is. Oh! Now this is looking palace-like. Ooh. I'll be done. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. Very nice. Very ornate. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. Very pretty. Not exactly what you'd expect to find on a frozen um, rock, but... Yeah. like a corridor over there so this you is... were right about the palace what's the plan now we get foster back and then we leave i was hoping for something more specific i suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one gramps had would that be the soul sucker i'll know it when i see it even if you did find the thing this place is dead what mythic technology might be here is now useless 
We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Okay. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. So lots of places to explore. This is getting intriguing. Um, and we've got some stairs up here. So what I think is we might call that a session there. Um, that's been a pretty good introduction into at least the look of the place. And I suspect we'll start getting into the more mechanically focused parts next time. Anyway, I am the Kiwi Kink, and I'll catch you around.